slowly changing dimensions. This is a term that is quite popular in the world of data warehousing and therefore we need to talk about why this is important for us and actually how we can handle changes in our dimensions. Because up until now we've just pretended in a way that there would not be any changes, any modifications in our dimensions. And indeed, the dimensions compared to the effects are rather static. So oftentimes we don't really expect many changes there or any changes at all. But surprise, in the real world, of course, there are some changes in our dimensions as well. So some attributes might change and therefore we need to also have a strategy in place to handle those changes in our dimensions. And that's why now we need to talk about these strategies of how we can deal with those changing dimensions. So before we start with the details, I just want to make a quick note on how we should go about that in general, because oftentimes the business users are not expecting that there are any changes in our dimensions and therefore don't expect that they tell you that there are changes and you need to handle them, but just be proactive and ask about potential changes. And also again, not only ask the business users, but also the people that are maybe in the IT and therefore sometimes business users don't know about these changes, they are not so aware about them and therefore bring together ideally the business users and some IT responsibles for these source data systems. And therefore in that case if we have that we can now develop a strategy together with these people for these changing dimensions. So some attributes in our dimensions might change and that's why for each of these attributes we need to develop an own strategy. And now depending on the situation and the requirements we can distinguish between different types of slowly changing dimensions. Those different types of slowly changing dimensions were first introduced by Kimball in 1995 and we will also use these types of dimensions because they are probably the most famous ones and therefore we want to focus on them. And also note that the term SCD, it's just an abbreviation of slowly changing dimensions, is the most common expression and therefore if you see this abbreviation this is just referring to the slowly changing dimensions. And that's why now in the next lectures we want to dive deeper into those different types because they reflect the strategies that we can use to deal with those slowly changing dimensions. And that's what we're doing in the next lectures.